Has a patient ever bit you, Miss Phoebe? Really? Oh, okay. I can't. Oh, you got me falling from the ceiling for you. You went from the sun, now it's only me to you. And I'm catching feelings, baby. Guys, so I finally made it and I need to hurry in there because I only have a few minutes to set up. So we're gonna go and see the kids today. I'm excited. So yeah, I have to go. I just got down with two patients. I saw one uh, kid, one pedo and one adolescent. They were super like fun. They were so cute. Um, the first patient I saw, she was a girl. She was the cutest thing ever. Um, I will say working with kids is a little harder than adults because you just have to kind of give them a little more guidance, of course, and be more patient with them. So be prepared if you're going to see children, if you want to go into peds, be patient with them. And you have to kind of talk them through it and make it fun, you know. Um, but yeah, so right now I am on lunch break. I'm heating up my um, lunch that I made. I didn't show you guys last name what I made, but I'm gonna show you guys. I just really like how this school was set up. They have a dental clinic, they have uh, nursing offices and stuff like that. I've never seen nothing like it. I don't feel like it's warm enough. But I like this clinic and how it's set up, it's really cool. I love if you wanna show you guys the rooms, give you guys a tour or whatever. So I wanna show you guys the room. Super cool. This is what I cooked last night. Some veggie sausage and some um, bell peppers, onions, mushrooms, spinach, you know, the whole nine. Pretty good. Gotta hurry up and eat. Has a patient ever bit you, Miss Phoebe? Really? Oh, okay. I can't. I cannot. I'm so scared of that. That's my biggest fear. I don't even care about throwing up. That's the crazy part. I just don't want you to bite me. Hi guys, um, so yesterday I did not vlog because when I tell you, yesterday was something else, like I was grateful for the experience, but I was so drained after and I'll catch you guys up on like what happened yesterday, but anyways, I'm feeling much better today. Um, it's almost time for class. I have class today at 9 a.m. We are taking med comp and I also have clinic today. I'm not going to be clinician though. I'm going to be auxiliary. So we're basically assistants in the clinic. I am going to take an immunity shot and some water. So I'm going to take that right before class. Um, I feel like it helped with my energy yesterday, but I was so tired. All right, you guys. So I had to throw on a scrub cap because I am sterilization assistant today in clinic so i may have to stay after a little bit longer a little bit after five maybe it just depends because they close clinic a little early sometimes and sometimes they let us stay so um hopefully i get all the sterilization stuff done today i do have three tests this week i have one tomorrow for local anesthesia um it's only over like three powerpoints and it seems fairly like straightforward and it kind of gave us a test review already so I'm not really freaking out about that one. Just not for <laughs> Look at Roy. <laughs> My girl stressed out. <laughs> it's okay though. We got this. We got this. <laughs> Okay, so you guys, update. I went out to the front and I made sure 
um, everybody that's clinician today that their patients were here, so I would not double write anything. We have to write their names on a blue sheet for them to be later on wrapped, as you can see over here, and then sterilized. So I didn't want to um, write anything twice and we would have to throw it away because we're not gonna use it. Um, and this is the list that I've made. I don't know if you guys can see it. So I checked it off. We're supposed to see two patients per day. So I'm gonna go back out. I'm just gonna check off their second patient and make sure um, they're here in the clinic. We have both of the autoclaves running right now. A and B, this is B, this is A. Um, we're just sterilizing this one. We, also, we always do like a little maintenance thing. We pour a little bit of this in here, the speed cleaner. We do a cap full of this, fill it with water, and then uh, let it run. So that's just part of autoclave maintenance. We did autoclave maintenance for A this morning. We're gonna do B um, today. So that's almost done. I have to dump out the water and then like replace it with fresh water. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Pretty slow, pretty chill. If I wrote you a symphony to say how much you mean to me what would you do if i told you you were beautiful would you date me on the regular tell me would you well baby i've been around the world but i ain't seen myself another girl like you this ring here represents my heart but there's just one thing i need from you say i do because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grasslands side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, and gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. And another woman that could take your spot, my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. Is another woman that can take your spot, my love. My love. My love. Are you a video on yourself? Yes. Are you doing that for your for your junior? Mm-mm. For YouTube. So I'm in it right now. Yes. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> Um, this is literally the latest I've ever stayed at Codwell. It's 6.15. That's the latest I've ever stayed in my life. Like, this cannot be an everyday thing. Um, I stayed a little bit after to sterilize and get stuff together for my patients tomorrow. It's just, it's really like we're working right now. It's almost a 12 hour shift, not even gonna lie to you. Almost. I'm glad I wasn't SA tomorrow though, because we have to be, um, at Caldwell at 7 in the morning. I did get like 8 hours of sleep last night because last night I went to sleep at like 9 o'clock. I was like, I can't do it. So tonight I'm probably going to go to bed around uh, 11 or 12 because I got to put in extra study time for these exams. Like We got three exams. Tomorrow we're going to take local. Um, Thursday we're going to take Perio. And then Friday we're going to take community. I'm about to go back to my room, shower, and then probably head to the library and study. So. I'm studying per use for my local anesthesia test tomorrow. Um, I had came from a study group earlier because I was studying and now um, it's like, mm -hmm. Oof. it's like 10 20 right now um i'm gonna stay up until 12 and then go to sleep and wake up for 5 30 i'm literally only getting five hours of sleep but it is what it is um i'm gonna get my life together and study some more in the morning but i got to stay up today and study for uh perio because i haven't studied none of that i literally only studied like one chapter i'm aiming for an a i studied for both this weekend but i don't know it's just I don't know. I just feel like we don't have as much time to study like we did last semester or the semester before that for sure. Um, but it's definitely durable. Um, there have been plenty of people that graduated, so I'm not complaining about it. It just, it can be exhausting. 
no lie but like i said we're gonna get it done i'm gonna look over this stuff and head to bed so i will catch you guys in the a.m Good morning guys so today i do have a test today um it's imperio so we'll see how it goes i did study but i don't know um it's up in the air <laughs> it's up in the air right now i know i don't really sound confident this week because i'm just getting adjusted to this new schedule i just feel like we never have time so yeah we'll just see how it goes hoping for the best i feel great i'm not gonna trip on it today we're gonna make the best out of it um so yeah i do have a free day in clinic so what i'm gonna be doing is turning in my chart because i finished um one of my patients yesterday my cousin so i'll turn in his chart and then um i'll start working on another chart or whatever the one i saw my pm that i saw yesterday i'll be working on his chart as well so i'm just taking this time out to do extra work so i don't have to turn it in tomorrow that's all that's on the agenda today i don't think i have anything major to do just Make sure I'm getting others to, oh, I have to study for another test tomorrow. Forgot. Three exams this week. Community. Now, the only thing I'm worried about is her wordplay. Like, her wordplay is super, super tricky, especially on that quiz. So, that's the only thing I'm worried about. But, let's hope everything goes well. And, I'll see you guys after class. You guys, so we just got done taking our exam. I was going to put up my boxes. <laughs> I have like two boxes over there. Um one right here and one right there we just got more supplies for the semester or for the year should i say but i was gonna do that or unpack it but i was like nah let me just go downstairs and focus on my chart um and if i have enough time later on today i'll go ahead and do that but i'm just trying to finish up this chart turn it in so i don't have anything to do tomorrow because i already have errands to run so let me go downstairs hey y'all so i'm sitting outside i just ate lunch sorry i didn't get to show you guys i was on the phone with her but this is my order. they can't hear you because i have my airpod in <laughs> so right now i'm studying about to get to it because we definitely have to do good on this next test so i'm about to just type in a uh, quizlet and just make a quick little quizlet below if you like the lizzie mcguire movie because that was you know what i'm gonna watch that on disney plus it's been a minute my boy paolo singing the song Thank you guys so today is finally friday we made it to the end of the week thank you lord have my last exam today i do have to critique a an x-ray because i didn't end up doing that yesterday but after that, I'm gonna go run a few errands and then hit the road to go back to Texas, go home and spend some time with family. So yeah, I'll let you guys know how the test goes. Hopefully it goes well. And so I'm about to critique my x-ray and get out of here. I'm almost done. I'm just trying to look at any signs of decay and stuff. So my trust in you. What will you do? You just You dug it out. I just wanna know if you my friend. I just wanna know if you did I know I can't go away. I'm just trying to get my car straight. I'm just trying to get my car straight. I know I can't go away. I'm just trying to get my car straight. Don't get my shit away. like a hard tissue chart if it has decay or they need extractions or whatever you mark it off in red you check um one of these prophylaxis x-rays all that type of good stuff we put the patient's name and date of birth as well and any comments so we'll be like please evaluate distal love 30 or whatever you know 
I'm about to fill that out for my patient and then hit the road. I honestly don't know how to feel about any of the exams I've taken this week. Like, I really don't. Like, I thought that just by studying the PowerPoints, I would get through. But I get why they want us to do it because most of that stuff is going to be on national boards. And they're not going to baby us with the questions. But it's super exhausting, you guys. I literally had three tests this week. Now, I will say local anesthesia, that was... That test was strictly from the PowerPoint, but everything else like periodontology um, and community, I was thinking I had it in a bag for community, but I was studying the PowerPoints. No, no ma'am, we gotta read. So, And then I have to read for med comp because we have an exam for that coming up soon. So it's just like, dang, when you think you're, you've won up on one subject, you still gotta go harder. You're like, you, you're not done you're not done okay but yeah you guys i just wanted to wrap up the vlog i know i never really end the vlogs right i always abruptly end it so i wanted to tell you guys um thank you so much for reaching out to me um after i got in my car accident that really was a tough time for me i was really going through it so seeing you guys' comments and just leaving so much love um and encouraging words like that really does mean a lot to me i know i can't really reply back to everybody you already know my my schedule is crazy but i really do see every one of them and i thank you guys so 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 much like y'all really don't know how much that means to me just keep striving keep pushing you know you got this any sliver of self-doubt we're human sometimes it happens but just make sure you keep pushing forward build that confidence just know that hey whatever i'm going through i may not be the best at what i'm doing i may not know what i'm doing sometimes but i will get better like it will come with ease one day to me so anybody that's going through anything in life or any dental hygiene students college students in general people that work whatever you're going through in life just keep going i don't want to keep ranting but i'm gonna end the vlog thank you guys so much again and i will catch you in my next one